All right, listen up. I don't normally like to make videos like this. You know, when I make videos, I try to make something that has a little bit more value to it. That's not so, like, kind of vapid and just talking about what's going on currently. Oh, here's my thoughts on this thing that was announced or the news or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't care about that kind of stuff. I like to make videos that have a little bit more staying power, a little more long-term value with something of actual importance of some degree to say that people can really get something from. But in this case, I, I gotta talk about this because I... I'm so mad. I... I'm so mad. I'm furious. I'm absolutely furious about this. I just need to vent. I just need to get this out because they announced Sonic Dream Team. And it's like, okay, mobile game, whatever, who cares? But then you see the gameplay and you're like, whoa, what, 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 huh? What, what's this? Why does this look like a real 3D Sonic game? What do, we you, you, you can't do this. We do, yeah, yeah, but, no, no, why? We do, but, yeah. And then, and then not only is it a mobile game, no, it's an Apple Arcade exclusive. So that means that if I want to play this new 3D Sonic game that looks like it could be actually really good, I have to buy a stupid Apple device for it, because I don't have any Apple devices. And I, I'm just, I'm so mad about this, because this is, this is the whole point. This is what exclusives are for. They're to get you to buy into their fucking stupid platform, because I don't give a shit about Apple. But now they have this, and it's like, oh, uh, am I going to buy a whole Apple device just to play this one game? Oh, I really don't want to do that. But at the same time, look at this game. Like, why did they have to go and make a real video game, make some more mobile game trash. Why did they do this? I hate it. I hate it because I love it and I want to play it. Oh, I hate everything. And of course, you know, the hope is maybe this is just a timed exclusive. Maybe it'll come to Android or maybe even console and PC eventually, but probably not. I imagine that this game was probably partially funded by Apple, so it's probably locked to Apple devices forever. Because I don't think any other Apple Arcade exclusives have ever come to any other platforms. So, we're all just screwed. And personally, the worst part about this whole thing is I'm probably gonna do it. I hate it. I hate myself for it. But I'm probably gonna fucking buy a stupid Apple TV so I can play this game. You know, I like to say, I'm not a blind fanboy. I won't just buy anything with Sonic's stupid face on it. And that's true, I won't. I don't give a fuck if something looks like shit. But this doesn't look like shit. This looks like... Good! Maybe this could be really good, like I'm excited for a new 3D Sonic game, what the fuck is going on? And so I'm gonna have to buy a stupid Apple TV for this, so you know what I'm gonna do? That's why I'm making this video. I'm gonna try to fucking milk this game for as much money as I possibly can on the YouTube channel to justify buying this stupid Apple TV. That's why I'm making this video, the ad revenue from this, that's gonna- this is funding to get an Apple TV so I could play this game. And I'm probably gonna do a Let's Play of this game, I might even stream it, I started streaming by the way. Uh, I'll do a fucking First Impressions video, I'm gonna review it for Sonic was always good, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna milk the shit out of this game just to justify buying this stupid Apple device that I need to buy in order to play it. I'll probably do other things with uh, Apple Arcade as well, because there are a couple other uh, Apple Arcade games that I've thought, hey, that looks kind of cool, like there's a Platinum Action game on there. And there's a uh, Rayman Mini, which is like a whole new 2D Rayman game. So I was like, yeah, I'll fucking make videos out of those too to make even more money. And like, there's uh, the fucking Sonic Racing and Sonic Dash. I can check those out real quick. Who gives a fuck? I'm just going to do whatever I can to make as much money out of this stupid Apple TV I have to buy to justify it. This whole Sonic Dream Team thing, I'm going to use it to fund my own ability to play it. Because I hate this whole situation. I'm so mad. And you know, at least I have this option because I can make content out of this stuff. But for the average person, you're fucked. If you don't have an Apple device, you just have to buy one. And fuck you. And oh, it's just, oh it's, why would they do this to us? If you have a goddamn Apple exclusivity deal to make an Apple arcade game, just make some crap that no one's gonna care about. Why'd you have to go and make a real video game? Oh, and like, okay, so the game itself, it looks kind of cool. It's like... Looks like it's kind of like an open 3D platformer, and it kind of, like, does what I wish Frontiers was doing a little bit more of, where it, like, has terrain that looks Sonic-y and, like, platforming integrated into the open space, which is, like, yes, that's what I've always wanted out of Frontiers, an open-world Sonic. Yes, thank you, good. 
And then, like, there's six playable characters, and they're split into three types. You can see, like, Tails and Cream are probably the flyers, Knuckles and Rouge can glide, and I assume Sonic and Amy have either, like, boost or homing attack or something like that. So they're doing, like, trios and, you know, speed flight power type things, which I haven't done in, like, a mainline Sonic game in forever. And you can play as Cream and Rouge again, which I haven't done in fucking forever in a Sonic platformer. And also, the fact that it's uh, Amy, Cream, and Rouge is kind of cool because that was the original concept for Team Rose and Sonic Heroes because they're like the female counterparts to the main trio. And now they're finally doing something with that and it's all in this stupid fucking mobile game and I hate it so much. Uh, but you, you, like I said, I'm making this video to justify it. So everyone, watch this video. Share this video around. I need this video to make as much fucking money as possible. Hey, did you know I have a Patreon and a coffee? Please donate to it so I can fucking buy a goddamn Apple TV so I can play this game and then make videos out of it. You want to see videos for me about this stupid game, don't you? Of course you do. So, uh, g give me money. Do it. Uh, but at the end of things, to get a little bit more serious here and stop being so jokey, half jokey, I am pissed about this. Um, at the very least, one thing I do want to say that's quite nice about this whole thing is that it seems we have finally escaped from how Sonic has been for the past several years, where we have to wait four or five years between every single game. They have multiple different developers once again working on Sonic games, and we're getting lots of Sonic releases without too much of a big gap between them. You know, Final Horizons was not that long ago. Before that was Sonic Origins Plus, even if it wasn't very good. At least it was a thing. Then Sonic Superstars came out. Now we have this. There's, there's a lot of Sonic stuff coming out again, which is nice. Reminds me of uh, the good old days in the 2000s when there was another Sonic game coming out every two months. Although it was probably a bit too much back in those days, and I feel like we could run into risk of oversaturation again. Uh, but for now, I'll take it, because it's nice to have new Sonic things to play. Uh, yeah, so Sonic Dream Team. I'm pissed. I hate it. But I'm also quite excited for it. I mean, I don't think it'll probably be the most amazing thing you've ever played in the world. It is still a mobile game. It's probably not that long or that ambitious or anything. But it looks like a fun game. And I want to play it. And I hate that.